this layout you're seeing in front of you here was a second creation of mine before Holly's End was built. Um, it, was, it was actually smaller than this to start with, but the club brought it off of me due to finances of building Holly's End and also lack of room for storing it. It's been in the club's uh, ownership for about the last four years, and this is about the second time it's been out. Um, people have uh, liked it and, and the appearance of it. Um, it depicts a, a very, very rural uh, town somewhere in the Welsh valleys and um, basically it feeds up to the main line, further up the line where the Great Western was going through to Bristol and, and into London, Paddington. You've got some uh, nice detailing around. Uh, the station buildings and figures, where, where, where did they come from originally? Uh, some of them were kit. Some of them were scratch built and some were kit with scratch building modifications. Um, a lot of it, the, the, the actual platforms are just 2B1 laid down with uh, cardboard uh, depicting paving slabs put on top. Um, the trees are all virtually made by hand with the old, the old uh, tried and tested method, wire coated with plaster and then tree foliage and horsehair. So now that the um, cobwebs have been dusted off, what lies, uh, what lies for the future of this layout? We ought to see it out in the circuit a bit more, I think, Brian. Uh, yeah, it's just getting the three or four people to take it because it is a bit of a lump. When I built it, I built it to last and uh, hence it became a very heavy commodity to lug around. But the club have got it and uh, it is starting to show a bit of interest with newer club members that have seen it and said, you know, yeah, I wouldn't mind going out with this, you know. So yeah, watch this space.